Hi, my name is Tatiana and today we will be talking about screencast for education and how to make a screencast using a free version of screencast matic The goals of today's presentation is to make you familiar with what screencasting is, to show you some examples of different types of screencasting possible and used in education, and then outline steps on how to create a screencast using Screencast-O-Matic and share it through YouTube, which then you can use to create a screencast on your own. So, what are screencasts? Have you ever googled how to do something and got a list of YouTube videos shown on how to accomplish it? Have you gone to khanacademy.org for an explanation of math problems? Have you taken lynda.com tutorial? Well, if you did, then you're familiar with screencasts. Basically, screencasts are video recordings of your computer screen, including all the action that is happening on the computer screen. Whether you're going through PowerPoint slides or explaining how to use a software. They're usually accompanied by either a narration or music soundtrack, and they're usually short, under 15 minutes. There are many ways to use screencasts for educational purposes. Many use it to record lecture material using narrated PowerPoints, like in this example where instructor is explaining some concepts in lecture of chemistry. Welcome! Over the next two weeks we will use Troposphere, which is the zone of admin. Another example is a recorded demonstration of how to actually use a piece of software, like in this example, explaining how to use Jartle to students. To start using Jartle, simply go to Jartle.net and on the home page, click on Create Jartle. That link will take you to a pop-up window, which is the actual application that you will be using to create your And then last but not least is recording of an explanation of a particular problem, like in this example, demonstrating a simple addition concept. Welcome to the presentation on basic addition. I know what you're thinking, Sal, addition doesn't seem so basic to me. Well, I, I apologize. I hope I, uh, hopefully by the end of this presentation or, or in a couple of weeks it will seem basic. So let's get started with, uh, I guess we could say some problems. Well, let's say I start with, a, with, a, with an old classic. One plus one. And I think you already know how to do this. Um, you get the idea. Regardless of what kind of screencast you choose to make for your class, here are some things to consider. Your screencast should have a clear purpose and be tied with that lesson's objectives. You have to be prepared to spend some time figuring out the pieces and the content for your screencasts. You also have to create a script and then practice that screencast a couple of times before you actually prepare it to record. Because of the time constraints, you have to be succinct and to the point. Do not reproduce already existing lecture. Instead, concentrate on the concept that you know students have hard time getting. Once screencasting, keep it under 15 minutes. Take in consideration students with slower band bandwidths, and it is also more cumbersome to go through a 30 minute of a screencast trying to find that spot that you want to revisit again. After all, the beauty of the screencast is that students can go and listen to it again and again until they actually have gotten the concept right. It is a good idea to use material from screencast in assessment for this week, whether it's formal or informal. Basically, each screencast will include three main pieces. First is content to be recorded visually. Second, audio or narration. And again, if you are doing a narration, please have a script and the screencasting software. There are many on the market today to choose from. Many commercial software will have a 30-day trial like Camtasia and Captivate. Many will have free or pro or paid accounts like Jing and Screencast-O-Matic. 
all will have benefits and drawbacks. Why choose Screencast-O-Matic? Well, first and foremost is it is incredibly easy to use. It doesn't require a steep learning curve and basically is a three-button operation. Gene, um, sorry, Screencast-O-Matic has free and pro versions available to you. The pro version is very affordable to you or a student. It is only $15 a year and gives you, in addition to simple recording, some editing features that if you screencast more and more, you will probably appreciate. Another good feature of Screencast-O-Matic is ability to control the bounding box and record only a part of the screen. Some of the screencasting um, software, the free versions especially, do not have that feature. Camtasia Relay, for example, only allows you to record the entire screen of your computer. And then, of course, another good feature is that um, Screencast-O-Matic gives you many formats in which you can save your video to a desktop or you can import it to YouTube or Screencast-O-Matic site all from one screen um, after you finish your screencast. Bottom line, Screencast-O-Matic gives you a lot of control over your creation. So let's take a look at the steps that you will have to go through in order to con um, create your screencast with Screencast-O-Matic. First step is to go to screencastomatic.com. Um, there you will see a, um, a start recording button. You can sign up for a free account or you don't have to actually sign up for an account in order to record your presentation. If you do choose to sign up for the account, then um, it's very easy. All you have to do is um, provide an email and create a password. You don't have to wait for the confirmation email or activation email. There is uh, two choices. You can use website, a web-based client or download client um, software to your desktop. I usually recommend downloading the software to your desktop for simple reason that if you do not have internet connection, you still can create a decent scre screencast and then upload it to YouTube after you have internet connection. So after you figure out whether you're going to sign up or just start recording, um, if you download the client to your desktop, it is the same operation as with the web-based client. Get your pieces ready. Make sure you have your PowerPoint prepared or whatever presentation mode you use um, or open the software that you're going to actually demonstrate. Practice a couple of times before you press the record button and then record. Once you record, you have ability to review your screencast and actually pause it at some places um, and restart it at that paused place. Sometimes it comes in handy, especially when you have an unexpected sound like a flying airplane. So you can pause your recording at that point and then re-record it starting from that point uh, using Screencast-O-Matic. So once you reviewed your screencast and you're happy with what you have recorded, all you have to do is click on Upload to YouTube button, enter your YouTube account information, and click Share. Once your video is uploaded to the YouTube, from there you can either embed your presentation into LMS system like Moodle or Blackboard, or send the link to that presentation to your students. And once you have done that, you are done and you can create more and more screencasts and help your students to get the concepts 